What's up, Pinky Ponians? I am Mato Convoy, and welcome back to Hangar 88. Uh, gonna mix it up uh, a little bit this time around. We've got the legs done, and now, with this uh, particular series, I'm gonna start on the waist section. Do want to point out real quick in the uh, in the last video with the legs, I did miss these little uh, green stickers on the sides there on the calves, but as you can see, they are both now uh, securely on there on both sides. So let's get these guys out of the way and get started on the torso. And let's see, we're gonna start with the waist section as soon as we grab our safety glasses because we are using sharp objects like flush cutters and hobby knives and anything can happen okay so first off we are getting C1 2425 <gasps> excuse me Probably hold this where you guys can see it. Those guys. And yeah, let's just get everything that we're getting off of here. And then 22 and 21. These guys right here. gonna get number 17 this little guy right here it's not gonna be a whole lot to this whoo to this waist section here let's see now we got polycap number four. to hold this poly cap while we shave it down. You know what? I'm not going to shave that because that actually can help keep the joints nice and tight. So we're just going to leave that one on the poly cap. This guy is going to be mostly an internal piece, I think, from, that's what it looks like from the instructions, but, all the same. Just want to make sure, don't skip on anything that we do want shaving down. careful around that one that's got a little panel line groove in there oh, get messed up in that particular area if you cut too deep when you're shaving the gates I think I just 
just did there. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so first we're taking these two guys, slapping them together. Cap. Woo. Put it on that end, right? Yeah. Then we take these two guys. There's three. Let's see. How are we doing this? Okay, we take this guy like here. This little end going. And here, there's a little square hole for that little tab there. If I can just like that, that looks like where it's going to plug in to. Our display base, and this is going to go, hang on a sec, open it like this, and it's going to go in like that, give, whoop, and the polycap comes right out there, okay. There's that. And next we're going to start on the upper torso. So let's see here. So first we're going to grab off of the A runner. We are going to grab a Eight. And we're going to be doing a lot of stuff on here before we slap seven on the top. We're just going to leave seven on the runner for right now. Let's see. We've got C1. 18 as I'm knocking everything around here. There you go, right there. There's a little bit of the sprue coming off there. Get rid of that. And, oh, we got some stuff off of the D runner as well. Almost forgot. D1 and 2. Here's D1 right here. D1 over there. It's supposed to go on that side. And D2. It's going to go over here. To make sure we don't get them mixed up. Now we start shaving stuff down. So, uh oh. I think I got that guy kind of bad with my clippers there. Didn't cut it at the right angle. Here it looks like, yeah. 
these little guys off. Being very careful. They are little teeny tiny pieces, so we want to make sure we're holding it in a way that's going to keep fingers out of the way. C118 in here. Looks like that's going to be the little port where the where the big booster is going to plug into the back. And these guys are going to go in here. D1 and 2. Those little vents that are going to stick out the front and this is where we've got the other poly cap number four and we are also going to be grabbing poly cap number one which would be the neck joint right here and in addition to that we're grabbing some stuff off of the D runner Shut up, captions. Adjusted here. Alright, come on. sure why but especially that waist section this kid is giving me a bit of a bionicle vibe like uh, I think it was Pohatu was the ground desert guy I don't know
shaving the poly caps because those are all in areas where that could actually help out again help out keep the articulation nice and tight and this guy's gonna go on here it's gonna poke through there that's where the uh, that's where this guy's gonna peg into and we're gonna take this neck piece put these on either side of it definitely a cool way of doing it and at that proper color that the neck is supposed to be and it's gonna slide in here and that piece is gonna keep it together keep those two orange pieces together over the poly cap this whole deal here is going to settle in right here. Next, we are going to grab Okay, this is interesting. runners oh, okay so they look kind of off on the instructions there I thought where it said something was number 13 on one of the sea runners was number 12 on the other which didn't make a whole lot of sense but yeah these are I'm guessing the shoulder joints that we're putting together right here shaved off. I probably should have left that alone.
this guy. Just gonna pop on top of there. Just line up those little arches. And these are going on polycap number three. Especially since this has a lot more of a transformation to it. This guy is definitely going to end up using a lot more of the polycap than the Mac knife did. So, this guy, same on this one. Alrighty. This is where. Another kit that's got that kind of oddball solid color A runner. In fact, yeah, there are no, I didn't realize before, there are no multicolored runners in this kit. I don't think there were any in the Mac knife either. guy. Polycap's going to plug in here. Pull it out a little bit. Looks like, looks like you weren't supposed to shove it all the way in the polycap, but let's see, I did put it in the right way. Yeah, that curved part going out towards the end. This is all going to sandwich together. Yep, there's that port for the boosters, and then we got some shoulder joints here. Alrighty, and next, we're going to get. Parts off of the sea runners. Let's see here. C nine. Okay. Go ahead. Let's just go ahead and get all the rest of the pieces for this section cut out. Get one off of the D runner. Let's see, got a couple more coming off of C. Fourteen and fifteen. Number 
15 is going to go on that side. Oh boy. Oh, let's not lose tiny pieces if we can help it. Okay. And then just those two nose cone pieces off of the A runner. Nine and ten. Got enough gates on number nine there. Alrighty. Firstly, let's take these guys and shave them down. this a bit more understandable on something like a master grade where you know trying to get in as much detail as you can but something like this especially on a especially since these aren't poly caps of any kind Kind of like, why do you exist in this kit? Woo! Yeah. I'm sure you guys can imagine it is very scary anytime these little tiny guys go off in a direction that you did not tell them to go. Guys, shave down. sure you're being careful when shaving your gates so you don't want to do like I did thankfully I don't think that's going to be in a very noticeable area but you don't want to nick nick some other place and end up having to scratch it up to smooth it out Not so noticeable on these lighter color pieces, but something like that dark brown there, that'll definitely stand out. guy up for this episode okay so firstly we're going to take these little itty bitty guys and we're going to put them on these little pegs here so that those tabs are not right up against the little walls there. Okay. And we're going to 
take whoop, A9. It's gonna go in. Yep. Got these little slots inside here. That's where those little tabs are gonna line up. Take. No, I even got to mess with that then because it doesn't want to stay in. Let's see here. Well, or maybe it would if I put tried it with the right piece. Okay, come on. Might have those turned a little bit too much. Okay. Now, take this guy, okay, just kind of goes up in there, and then slides forward, and that whole section sandwiches together. These guys pop them in like so. And there is our elf bullock upper and lower torso. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, beat that like button like it owes you money. Kick the annotation for more videos that I've done. And smack that subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos coming up. Thanks again, you guys. And I will see you in the next video.